finally, I got me buried treasure. Well, just so I could finally become Marshal of the Black Templars. <laughs> halt there! Are you here to steal me buried treasure? Are you here to join me, crew? This is spectacular. Don't mind that. It's here, I found the greatest of all the treasures in the land. The Chronicles of the Black Templars. With this knowledge, I can know now all of the ranks and the systems of the Black Templars. Hold on a minute. All the systems of the Black Templars. Hi there. I'm William Flea, your local Black Templar representative. Back at it once again. Today, when I'm talking about lore, today I'm here to bring you the glorious information of the race, different ranks and systems of the Black Templar, so you can figure out what you want after you join our esteemed order of Grand Fighters in the name of the Emperor. Come with me. So, to start out, the first Templar rank we have is known as the standard Space Marine. Space Marine Marines are armed with basic bolters and are known for their esteemed fighting capabilities. They form the basic of any strong Black Templar force and are known to strike out and for, it, it, all their foes, being good at offense, at uh, defense, at everything, and led by the esteemed and high martial Gem, the greatest of our, the greatest of one of the marshals, some of the greatest of our marshals. Gem also leads the Devastators along with the Assault Marines. What's a Devastator? That's a Space Marine with a giant ass gun. Basically, they are armed and equipped to deal with heavy weapons and to bring the foe, and to bring the devastation and suppression of the Templars to our many enemies. Then there are the most glorious and the best of all the specializations, the Chaplains. You see, Chaplains were very difficult to get into. You see what Chaplains are good at? Chaplains serve the emperor in every shape and form. They lead, they give sermons, they, and they, they make sure that the morale in the chapter is of high rank and they make sure absolute loyalty to the emperor and the marshal are maintained. They are excel at defensive nature, you standard bolters along with bolt pistols and chain swords. They're very good. You wanna know who else uses bolt pistols and chain swords? The second greatest of all of the specializations, the assault marines. See, assault marines have jet packs and rain death from the sky like the glorious Valkyries of old. They are exceedingly deadly and are led by the esteemed Captain Cthulhu, first of his name. Then we come to the Terminators. The Terminators of the first company are led by the esteemed Captain Grey Goat, who has been a longtime member of the Templar community, though he's been a little inactive lately. You see, Grey Ghost, no, no, not Grey Ghost, but uh, Terminators are equipped in heavy, large, bulky armor, equipped with storm bolters and heavy bolters, and, and along with regular bolters, sometimes even two, bring death to the enemies in the first company. Their armor has its history in the Great Crusade and was known to be favored and used by the many chapters, but sadly over time and due to the incompetent nature of imperial bureaucracy. Oh, I'm sorry, that's heresy. No, I'm sorry, please, don't call the chaplains. They are now dwindling in supplies, usually reserved for the elites of the first company of any chapter, including the Black Templars. Then we have the Apothecaries, led by the esteemed Captain B.R., first of his name, also known as Birdman. Seems all the birds like that. I'm sure you can hear from all birds, you know, chirping away. So, Apothecaries are known as the healers of the battlefield, extracting precious gene seed from fallen soldiers, giving it to ones that needed to heal, and known as being the epic healers of the chapter. They have big, large buggy eyes, drills, and bird beak faces. Then we come to the best of all of, the, all of them. This is the greatest one, the Primaris. The Primaris are led by both Jem and by Bad Cam, because they can't pick on a leader yet, because both of them want to hold on to all power. You know how it is, leadership stuff. These, uh, the Primaris, go through a, a brutal trial where they must fight three people at once and inflict 10 hits on an opponent in order to become it. Primaris have their own Primaris Assault Marines and also Primaris Devastators as well. Then there's the epic, super, amazing elite troops that I have failed to try the trial twice. Get better, William, so you can become an elite of the Black Templars. Been the last one, led by the esteemed Marshal OM Democracy a long-standing member of the community who usually likes to sit AFK on a battlefield. 
and uh, you know doesn't really they would do any trainings whatsoever, you know. But that that that's fine, you know. We got Jem. He's pretty chill. He leads the Tech Marines, known as uh, Marines that usually give themselves over to the Omni Sire. The Omni Sire. Can't believe they wouldn't worship the Emperor. Apparently, the Emperor is the Omni Sire. More on that later in the next lore video. Tech Marines give their lives to the Omni Sire, are known to repair and maintain the chapter's bolters and weaponry, and have mechanical arms, like a big claw on their back called Jimmy, for example. All this was learned in the lexicons. Now, these are all the different ranks and files we have. More will be coming soon, but for now, I must return to my crew. Goodbye.